First of all, I would like to apologize for not being more dynamic in my delivery. And yes, I am reading from a script. I would do it live on camera, but I don't think you'd want to look at my ugly old mug while I'm doing it. This is a view of 10th and Wallet Street in Kansas City, Missouri. The clock is hanging on the Commerce Bank building at that location. It is a downtown landmark. I got the idea for the painting while I was in junior college at Penn Valley Community College. I was riding a bus at that time and one of my transfer points to and from the college was on this corner. I made a sketch of it in my pocket sketchbook for use in a painting later. I especially liked the way the corner looked on a rainy day. Commerce Bank later purchased the painting. I was Artist of the Month at their Artist of the Month show on the Country Club Plaza in 1989. The show was important to me in that it was one of the oldest continuous art shows in Kansas City history at that time. The show had been running since 1962 at that location. I first learned of the show while attending a free summer semester at the Kansas City Art Institute for selected high school art students in the Kansas City area. One of my friends in the class had to stop there one day to withdraw some money for her lunch. She told us about the show and its history. Many well-known regional artists were featured there. The Country Club Plaza was in those days a kind of showpiece in Kansas City and kind of upscale in its atmosphere. The architecture is patterned after Madrid, Spain. It contains many beautiful fountains. I was also featured in Kansas City Society magazine, The Independent. I was kind of amused by that, being trailer trash and all for most of my life. This corner has another story behind it as well. In 1981, I enrolled in a radiolo radiological technology class at Penn Valley Community College so I could become a radiology tech. I spent two years in a three-year program working on my degree. I even had a surgery rotation in my training, running a C-arm. Most of the time, though, I was doing barium enemas, IVPs, portables, and chest x-rays. My training was at the old St. Mary's Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. To get a little extra cash to supplement my income, I did day labor. It was kind of odd in a way because one day I might be working in surgery, the next day I'd be working with street people, drug addicts, and winos. One time I was assigned to work in a foundry in the West Bottoms area of Kansas City. The temperature that day was 103 degrees Fahrenheit. It was even worse inside the foundry. Most of the people who were assigned to work there with me quit within 10 minutes. The supervisor saw that I was a good worker and put me on one of the worst jobs in the place. I was always taught, work hard and you'll get ahead. I guess that works if you're a headhunter or something. But don't you believe it. It was hot and a dirty job, and before long I was the only one left from the temp service still working there. I had to stop every five minutes or so and get a drink of water. I was dehydrating fast. The supervisor was begging me not to quit, and by this time I was covered in a black soot from head to toe. My face was completely covered in soot. I finally gave up after a couple hours and walked about a mile east to downtown Kansas City in the area of this clock to catch a bus home. People were looking at me like I was something from another planet. They would turn away from me and give me plenty of room on the sidewalk. I think they thought I was a homeless person and was going to ask them for spare change or something. Well, that's enough. That's enough of this uh, for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this story and thank you for watching. And if you would, please, well, you know.